Yeah, so so it's basically the pool stages are basically finished now. Yeah. Um, and it's the last one, the one that everyone was eyeing from the start of this whole thing. Like, obviously, as Springbok, Springbok fans, we would have liked to have, um, you know, have had the whole thing wrapped up yeah. by last, last weekend, basically. But Ireland was better on the day, so... So now we have to see what happens this weekend. And, um, and literally right to the end, we are going to have to wait. Exactly. So um, there's obviously there's a permutations yep. um, thing. table. So if I understand the permutations table correctly, there's, there are, there's like the main things are Scotland winning with a bonus point yeah. um, by more than 21 points. Yes. And Ireland getting no getting no bonus points so they don't score four tries yeah in, the, in that uh, instance it's going to be south africa first yeah which was great for us but um yeah i can't see that happening I can't, yeah. um uh, and then obviously ireland falling away scotland yeah. co coming in coming up coming in then second um then obviously you've got the the the, the scots winning uh with a bonus point yeah ireland getting a bonus point um, Scotland winning by a margin of more than 21 points and, yeah. and then in that instance uh, we actually fall away we fall away yeah. and but that's the, that's the only permutation where we fall away that's the only one and I think Johan in, in all honesty for Scotland to score four tries I think would, would almost be I think they could do it yeah I think, I think it would almost it. be the limit to, to the amount of points they'd be able to score because I don't think Ireland will completely go and lie down to, to no, their defense 21, is solid. No. 21 this, points. This is the crazy... This, uh, this is why I can't see this really happening is because Ireland... That, that would mean Ireland scores four tries and then still loses by 21 points. Like, Which which I can't like, see. What is that score going to be? It's, the score line is going to be like 49-28 or something like that. Which and is like... I mean, how like how many points have the Irish actually conceded over the last two years in one you know and in all honesty when you, when you just look at the game that we played I mean their defence against the box was incredible they mm. were physical they were in our faces and I, I can't see Scotland breaking them down five six maybe four times but I won't say no it's going to have to be like eight, 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 eight tries or something like that and I don't think even when we see even when um, Ireland's B team played or um that they, they all play with the same structure. So yeah. whoever comes into this team will oh, understand see, the... Yeah, we've seen it in URC. Like, all of their teams are solid. They're are good. solid. And they, they defend in the same way. So I don't even think if... Even if they do have a few permutations to the teams, I can't see that any That's team will happen. still break them down by that far. I'm just going to move my stake before it gets uh, overdone. Well, Jan, and the other one that we, we actually have to talk about is just... The ones where Ireland can still actually be, be kicked out. out. Yeah, so so obviously it's the one that we just mentioned was yep. the, where Ireland doesn't get a bonus point at all. Yep. Uh, then there are there are three other permutations that Ireland could get kicked out on. Which, yep. Yeah, just just mention which um, obviously if Scotland score four points or four four tries. four tries and then they win, but Ireland don't get a bonus losing point. Yes. So then Scotland moves up and then obviously Ireland fall out. Yeah. If Scotland do manage to score four tries and they win with a bonus point and they have a winning margin between five and 19, it then means that Ireland will then fall out. So... Oh, yeah, uh, five and 19. So, so we that's have, they Ireland, get... Yeah. Why would that be? So Ireland, it's because Ireland then doesn't have a, a good enough... A they also don't have that bo losing bonus oh, point. Have, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that means that they would finish so the on one. the only way that they're going to fall out, I think, is if they don't get a... A losing bonus point. Hey? Yeah, which I also. Is, <laughs> that's not. Gonna yeah, happen. I I I feel they're very gonna, strongly that that won't happen. No, right? they, like they're not going to finish in within less than than seven, surely. And if if they don't, if it is a high scoring game, they're going to score four tries. Yeah. So I I feel. Yeah, if it gets way, loose, you mean like if if Scotland fl like flies ahead, yeah. then Ireland's going to start throwing the ball around. They've got amazing outside backs. Outside backs, and I think. Either way, I, I, I can't see them not finishing within seven or not scoring four if it becomes such a loose game and it's a high-scoring game. Barring injuries and barring, uh, you know, red cards, red cards and that sort of thing. But, I mean, they've, they're disciplined, you know. 
and they're focused. I don't think. I mean, it can. Ha- I mean, you have accidents. You get accidents. Yeah, we, but we also saw that with Mapimpi and and uh, the scrum off. Yeah, you know, which yeah, and I think that's also going to be it with. Uh, uh, what is his name? The English, the English flank curry. Yeah, curry. As I, well. I mean, that when is I think that red. Let's be honest. A decision like that can change the game. We didn't get it going for Mapimpi, and I feel actually sorry for him because that hit on him has now cost him the rest of his World Cup. So, mm. I mean, there's no sanction, or maybe there will be a sanction afterwards, which I hope happens because that upright tackle he never never once went lower than, than shoulder high even yeah. when you change direction so I understand mitigating factors Ach, let's not get into that because there'll be people arguing about even it's a Beth's thing I don't want to yeah. get it I don't no, get into it. but uh, okay but I think the rest then are, are Sco- basically Scotland's out if, yeah so, the only ones that Scotland, so now the Scotland bi- has to outright win the big question is do we care do we care whether Scotland goes through or Ireland goes through no because I think both quarter final matches have got their own own unique set of issues, of issues and, and complications. Like like uh, the All Blacks aren't a pushover. So, no. So, like, w- when I say do we care, it's like, do we care whether, okay, these are the obviously the, 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 the options, whether we play the All Blacks or whether we play France. I think a lot of Irish fans are going to say they'd rather yeah. play the All Blacks because, do, because yeah. they play France on an annual basis. We, we kind of... We play them, you know, we don't really worry about them as much. No. Secondly, uh, do we want to, if we do happen to beat either the All Blacks or, or France, if we do happen to beat, get, you know, get through the quarterfinal, are we worried about playing Ireland again in the final? Yeah. And I think that the permutations and, and I the think likelihood you have to, you have of... to be worried, I mean, but... You have to be worried because they're, they're a great team. They, and they're not number one for nothing. And yeah. I think they've proven in the Six Nations as well, those tight games, they, they can grind out. And I think against the Springboks was a good example of they know how to grind out wins. Um, France, I would almost say... They're, they're going to have Dupont, eh? They're going to have saw, Dupont. You saw today, he's busy training with them, running with that fractured... Yeah. Okay, it's not fractured anymore, they fixed it. But uh, yeah, but I, I think like they, they are a different team with Dupont there. Johan, I think either way, the quarterfinals are going to be... Obviously, it must be a, a, a do-or-die situation for us. But I, I think the win against New Zealand was very good for our conference. But I think if we play them in quarterfinal, they've got more to prove. And I think that in the back of yeah, the mind Frizzell. would be... Shannon Frizzell's back, yeah. we saw. Sam Kane's back. Playing some great rugby. Um, Dalton Papalini came through and he came through strong and he yeah. added a lot of... Just grunt, to the, yeah. that back. So, I think... The World Cup is a is a strange situation because yes, you're playing France in France, and I think the crowd is going to be I think the the biggest factor, the biggest factor. But that as well, we saw if we start well and we could silence them in the first fifteen twenty minutes and and have a good score and they're not on the board. No, I think it's I think it's, it's doable. Like I think I think that I think that any of the top four teams yeah. can win. But what I want to get to is. Like, it's all well and fine, you know, Scotland going through first or second yeah. and, and us going through, let's say, let's say Ireland somehow is eliminated, like, from, you know, during the yeah. pool stages. What does it help? Like, I can't, you know, sorry to the Scottish fans, but I can't really see Scotland beating France or beating New Zealand. No. So, so like, <laughs> like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So, so like, we have to, basically what I'm saying is we're going to have to beat just you know we, we actually don't shouldn't care so much who goes through we yeah. have to beat the best teams we should be able to be, if we want to win the world cup you should sh- be able to should be able to beat teams. ireland we should be able to be, beat the all blacks we should be able to beat france yeah and and uh, funny enough we should i mean we're, we're not talking about it but like england even in the semis if we if we play france yeah. we have to go th- you never know so yeah. so I, I think i think that it's a case of i actually don't care as long as we get through yeah, I just want to say, as long as we get through, because <laughs> yes. it's it's three finals for the Springboks. Yeah. I think the other side of the leg might have more of a semi-final final game because the quarters, I think, on their side might not be as intense. But I think that might also play into our hands because we saw in the previous World Cup when we lost that one pool game, we had a very difficult path in, which I think... Well, it actually worked out in 2019. Yeah. You know? It actually worked out quite nicely. We, actually had a we played semi- against Japan. Japan. Which, 
which at the time there was a debate about yeah. it, like, do you want to play Ireland? Because at that stage it was Ireland or Japan. And uh, playing Japan at home actually turned out to be pretty tough. It was tough. And then we had to play Wales, who was, that was probably the, one of the better Welsh teams I've seen. Yeah, because if and I remember, we, we, we didn't win, win that by a lot. I think it was seven or eight points. Against Wales. Yeah. Three points. Yeah. Three points at yeah. the end, yeah. And I think we were complacent about that game, actually, because in the beginning, I think we all were thinking it's 10, 12 well, they points. Had a, they had a lot of injuries, they the, did. the Welsh. So we just remember we had basically, basically had to outkick them. It was just like a kick they, fest. Yeah. But anyway, so, so, so the point is, I mean, like there it was, it was also, it was the same. as like you're going to have to beat the best teams and, and that's what it's going to be. So as I say, I think permutations are amazing, but I, I, I honestly believe you going forward. It's going to be us and Ireland from Opel and we're going to be playing France. Let's be honest. Let's, I think it's going to be Ireland. So I uh, also, I, I can't see not the Scottish team, not, yeah. not on a, a day where yes, they, they, they've been good against Tonga and good, but in Romania and, and, and against us, they, they and, looked a bit flat. And I think, yeah, you know, they weren't that good against us. And, and I think Ireland, I mean, they, they used to playing them and I think they, they're going and to I think they've got their number. Yeah, but obviously after there's a, I don't know, we'll chat to Hansi, yeah. there'll probably be a video uh, after those teams are out. I don't know, he's in the Kruger, but I'm not going to make promises. And then see what the quarterfinals will hold. Yeah. Anyway. Johannes. Go Boca. Go Boca. Cheers.